skateboarding is what um, led me to photography. When I was uh, about 15, 16 is when I started skating. Skateboarding is literally what got me into photography. It wasn't enough to just be skating. I wanted to document it and start shooting photos to uh, sort of show exactly what we were doing, that sort of thing. I, I was good at school. I went on to do college and then uh, a degree in photography. I shoot digital and film um, sort of in equal amounts, really. So I do like shooting a big digital shot. Um, but then at the same time, film's got this beautiful aesthetic which pulls me towards it and I'm drawn to shooting film a lot as well. So it's a good mix, a good balance of the two. You know what, I would say Absolutely anybody could shoot, uh, shoot skateboarding and anybody could pick up a film camera and try and shoot with that and the thing about that is I think it's, say a kid picks up a film camera for the first time and uh, shoots some photos they're going to get the next back and you know they're going to learn from what they've done. So the same principle in, uh, in learning tricks in skateboarding definitely like you just go back again and again and again until you figure it out figure out what you've done wrong um, and in photography that could be the same so especially shooting film you shoot something you get your photos back from the lab and see what went right see what went wrong um, you know figure out what you've got to do the next time go out and shoot again the stuff I shoot when I'm shooting digital is often the big the big shot the trick if friends of mine are gonna be jumping down you know, the Snenton three block for instance um, I'm going to be shooting a big digital setup of that. But at the same time, when I'm shooting stuff like uh, with my 35mm camera, I'll just be shooting the whole session and snapping portraits of the guys when they least expect it. I don't like to do setup shots. I like to not be seen but capture what's going on. I mean, I think anyone who shoots film um, loves how unexpected it can be and the fact that you have to wait, get your film back, get the next back, see how they're looking. I think digital's too easy sometimes, whereas shooting analog, you really need to think about it and uh, take your time. You're not going to be as trigger happy shooting film because you don't want to waste loads of money on loads of films. When I'm working, you know, when I'm doing photography uh, or design or any other sort of creative thing, um, it's there's always an end goal of wanting to um, publish a zine or do an exhibition such as the one we're at today. Um, and the only way I can do that is with, with the scene we have here, the amazing Nottingham skate scene. So all the guys that I can shoot photos with, you know, all the guys that can put together a group exhibition with, uh, you know, artists, illustrators, photographers, designers, you know, sculptors, uh, people making stuff out of old skateboards. Um, yeah, it, it's creativity breeds from creativity, I guess. So I produced uh, Vario magazine. I started that uh, be about four years ago now. Um, which I always envisioned as being uh, a group project so it was a way for me to get my photography out there but also I wanted to bring other people in you know because I'd seen people shooting other amazing images uh, in, in this region as well in the East Midlands um, which of course is amazing I like seeing good photography from anywhere but seeing it in your local area your local scenes uh, of your local people people you know um, so that was a big influence, seeing other people's work is, is how I was able to start something like Varial and um, hopefully that will uh, sort of go out there and be seen by everyone and maybe inspire some other people to pick up a film camera or inspire them to make a zine or put on an event or yeah just all that good stuff that comes from having such a creative scene like like what Stacey Brot says about skateboarding it's it's all about feeling what you're doing with your hands when you're carving banks and stuff and you could say the same about print um, but a magazine that's just online in the ether on the internet is it, not the same as holding a physical thing that you can you know keep and reread and thumb through and treasure and rip up and stick on your wall and you know keep as inspiration, that sort of thing, uh, whereas internet seconds are, you know, forgotten instantly almost. You'll scroll through and that's it, it's gone. You'll forget you ever saw that photo. But yeah, there's there's definitely something to, to uh, print magazines and 
recent years have proved that um, that Prince definitely not dead, as far as I'm concerned. At least in skateboarding, I'm not sure what what the rest of uh, the print world is doing.